How would you like it if you no longer had any paper money and your every purchase was tracked by a centralized bank tied to the government? Well, if the CCP's new digital currency takes off, this may be the future of cash. Part of the CCP's solution to the various forms of pressure on its economy right now is to fight a currency war with the United States. And after years of trying and failing to do this, to create its own currency as the number one currency in the world using banknotes, it's now turning to a digital currency. Now, as opposed to other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, the digital yuan is a state-backed digital currency. And the CCP's central bank, the People's Bank of China, will be able to record every transaction it's used in allegedly in real time. Now, this is a heavily centralized currency, which sets it apart from the others, and also uses a system similar to blockchain, which has a peer-to-peer -peer payment system in it. Now, the new currency can allegedly work without people needing bank accounts, although everything still goes through the CCP's central bank. As China's NTD host Tong Hao noted, the state-run digital currency gives the CCP a few key strategic tools. Now, since it's digital, it'll allow the CCP to more easily manipulate currency, also the amount of cash available, and then use this to stimulate its economy. In addition, it'll also let the CCP more directly monitor the purchases and daily lives of Chinese citizens, a system it already has to some extent, at least, when it comes to its social credit system. It'll also act as a tool for the regime to monitor and possibly even prevent money from flowing out of China, and capital outflow is something the CCP has been trying to crack down on as well. Now, when it comes to banknotes, a type of cash most of us are familiar with, the Chinese Communist Party has in the past over-distributed the notes to boost its economy. Now, this caused the currency to devalue, and the CCP was also called out for intentionally devaluing its currency. This caused prices to rise and lowered its purchasing power. If the CCP shifted to a digital currency, it would make manipulation of this kind more easy to control and to hide. And it's viewed as a way for the regime also to bring down inflation and to stabilize prices, because again, it controls all the numbers. It's also seen as a reaction to avoid U.S. sanctions. Using the U.S. dollar means that transactions are regulated by SWIFT. And for the CCP, the potential actions against its banks, when it comes to sanctions and so on, is seen as a looming crisis for China. Now, this will also be a way for the CCP to extend its systems of authoritarian control, bringing a currency in all transactions fully under the watchful eye of the Communist Party leadership through its central bank. And using an electronic system will make this a globally available currency immediately. And it will also allow the Chinese Communist Party to more easily finance influence operations, conduct money laundering, and fund its operations overseas the Chinese Communist Party will control the data from all transactions again. Now, what does this mean? What we're seeing here, if this currency goes through, is the end of privacy when it comes to transactions and exchange for services. It's a tool for espionage. The Chinese Communist Party can monitor everything done with it, it can finance operations, and it can use it to collect data on purchases and where that money's going. The world is about to see a new level of currency wars. The United States on one side when it comes to, say, hard currency or currency with the, say, banknote system, and the Chinese Communist Party with an e-currency, one that is under authoritarian control by the CCP. And the CCP will also need to compete with other digital currencies, or one of the main draws with them, such as with Bitcoin, is their decentralized structure outside the control of the banking system. They also give relative, say, anonymity when it comes to purchases and where the money's being sent. People who typically go for these different finances, who go for digital currencies, oftentimes do it because they want something outside the control of the banking system. If the CCP makes this new currency, however, this will be one that's open to investment, open for purchases, and so on. But we'll have to see how the U.S. reacts to it as well.